What I love about running is that I can actually express my feelings and whenever things go wrong, I can just go and run. I grew up in Inanda, it's a small township, then I went to Live Village in 2014. My name is Kanyezi and I'm an athlete and I love running. I met Kanyezi at the How to Trail Run workshop back in January. I noticed something really special about her, joyful, purposeful. She made an impact on me from the first moment. I've spent the better part of the last decade of my life in the mountains. They're my go-to, my place, my grounding. I know Kanezi loves running and she loves mountains too, but she doesn't have the same opportunities that I do that allow her to explore that love. I wanted to give her the opportunity to see how it feels in big mountains. I wanted to offer her some time where she could find out for herself what being in mountains can do for someone's state of mind, perspective, dreams. I've always felt that my purpose is to empower others. I was a teacher before. I taught for years, and the most rewarding part of that was how I was able to empower younger people. Women go through a lot during their teenage years. Their bodies change drastically, and to the extent that it's far more common for women to quit sport during this time and not return to it. It's especially important to be aware of this and to offer encouragement and open conversation in order to change it. We were both completely in awe of this feeling we both had, this freedom and this love of what we were doing together. It heightened the connection part of what mountains can do. They not only connect you to yourself and to nature, but to others too. As time went on, I started to notice that Kanyezi, while well, like everyone, has reason to be unmotivated, stuck or complain about life, doesn't. She instead flips every situation into a positive. She dances at every opportunity. She brightens up a room as soon as she walks into it. Her laugh is completely infectious. <laughs> Kanyezi's name means star in Zulu. It's crazy how much it shines through. You know those moments when you're just feeling a little low, maybe a bit tired or overworked, whatever it is. She has this incredible ability to bring you right out of that by merely being herself. Sometimes we try so hard to give to the world that we forget to receive. I think something that I learned is to look for what others can give you so that you can pass that on. Keep looking. Sometimes the teacher becomes the student. Thank you, Camille. I grew up in a place where there was no opportunities and there was no role models, so I would also like to go there and help other children who were once like me and also do things differently and just impact people's lives.